Hey guys, Merry Christmas! With the holidays just around the corner, I've written up my Christmas list, and now it's time to stroll on down to the local Shopping Mall to tell Santa san exactly what it is that I want for Christmas. Santa, please, you gotta help me out. I just really want Half Life 3. Look, kid, I just work here. Best I can do is The Last of Us 1 3. Now get the hell out of here. Yeah, it might be a lonely Christmas this year with all the games I want but can't have, but that won't stop me from believing. These are my favorite game franchises I'd like to see come back, even if despite all my best efforts, Nietzsche was probably right in the end. Ah, uh, yes, Japan. The land of the rising sun, or as I like to call it, the country that still uses fax machines. Home to many of modern gaming's biggest franchises, and Nintendo is at the forefront of that. And like many other game companies, they make some weird decisions. Tiny figurines you can use to interact with the game? Wow, the fans will love this! Let's only make five of them. What's that? The new Pokemon game isn't finished yet? Great, let's release it now, they'll love it. Hey everybody, let's make the Wii U! With all this in mind, it's not super surprising that we won't be seeing another F-Zero game anytime soon. The first one came out on the Super Nintendo in 1990 and was revolutionary. And the later games in the series were really fun too, like F-Zero GX and F-Zero Climax. <laughs> A few people at Nintendo have said that the main reason for not reviving the franchise is the lack of a new, unique gameplay strategy to make it fresh and exciting. Which may seem a little puzzling at first, but if you look at the sales numbers compared to Mario Kart, you can kind of see why they're saying that. But even so, I feel like enough people have been asking for one in recent years, so if they did announce a new F-Zero game, people would gobble it up like a- A whole heap of spaghetti pile of information! Hi, it's Remember back in 2017 when the Crash Bandicoot and Sane Trilogy came out? Developed by Vicarious Visions and published by They Who Shall Not Be Named, this collection of remakes was so good and a perfect example of how to revive a dead franchise. And then a year later, we saw the same thing with Spyro and the Reignited Trilogy. For a short while, it really felt like a renaissance of 90s platforming icons, and I was so happy about it. I mean, look at this, it's so beautiful! But you know what was missing? Something from a developer who made many of the best, most influential titles of the N64 era. A developer who was bought out and then underutilized for decades. That's right, I'm talking about Rare. To this day, I still cannot believe Microsoft didn't cash in on this wave of nostalgia with a Banjo-Kazooie remake! These games were just so much fun and they were so enjoyable. It would have been so cool to see this franchise come back and maybe eventually get the long-awaited Banjo 3. I mean. Crash Bandicoot did it, why can't you, you know? And speaking of video game companies not making video games, remember Valve? Yeah, this company. They made this weird-ass logo that was kinda creepy. Yeah, good shit. Ever since the Steam Store came out and made bajillions of dollars, they haven't really needed to invest any more resources into making games again. Now, I know they released Half-Life Alex for VR recently, which it was really cool and all, but I can't. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad that VR finally has a real killer app for the system and all, but it's not Portal 3, or Left 4 Dead 3. These games were just so much fun, fun, especially if you had friends to play with, but, you know. They really did deliver some of gaming's best, and it's kinda sad to see that they're pivoting away from that. Again, I totally get why, but I'd still love to see what these franchises would look like if they did come back, but... The world may never know. No! This can't be happening to me! Oh, that's a nice pair you have. Wait! No! I'm not ready! I'm ready! Why don't I show you? Ah! Let the girl... go? What? How dare you disturb my game of cards? The next game I'd love to see come back is Tenchu. The first game came out on the PS1 in 1998 and... Please forgive my late arrival. No, no, you have done well. Lord Gorda is waiting for you. Come. It's awesome. This was a stealth game set in feudal Japan, and it was really fun. fun. You could sneak your way through the game using a variety of tools and weapons, or you could just fight the enemies head on. It kind of felt like a traditional Japanese Metal Gear Solid, which is also a series that should come back. And actually, From Software has said before that what eventually became Sekiro first started out as a new Tenchu game, but you know, they made so many changes that in the end they decided to turn it into its own IP. I really hope they still revisit the franchise because I think it's a shame that stealth games have kind of disappeared in recent years. 
It used to be one of my favorite genres, and I think it still has a lot of potential. But who knows, maybe we'll see a resurgence in the genre once Konami's done sleeping around with pachinko machines. And of course, we have to talk about this game. Everybody already knows the story of the legendary Silent Hills headed by Hideo Kojima, and how it was ultimately cancelled after Konami decided to go nuclear and destroy the reputation. But the effect that this game had on the industry really cannot be understated. It was a truly terrifying experience, and served as a huge inspiration for many future horror developers, and this was just a demo. It really is a shame that this project was cancelled, but what's even more shameful is the fact that Konami won't put the damn demo back on the PlayStation Store because they're SALTY bitches. It's especially bad from a game's preservation standpoint, and the idea of this demo just being erased from history feels wrong. And while they did recently announce some new Silent Hill titles, I'm gonna wait and see how they turn out because I'm willing to bet that they will not be on the same level as PT was. And now, I present to you the number one item on my Christmas list. Out of all the gaming franchises out there that we've talked about, there is none that I want to see restored to its former glory more than this one. The year is 2006. Little prepubescent me had just bought the latest game from what would soon become my favorite franchise. That game was Sonic 06. Just kidding, it was Mega Man. The Mega Man Battle Network series had many things going for it. An awesome battle system, fun, fun characters, and a story that's... Uh, okay, I guess. But as a kid, I freaking loved it. And from that point on, I was hooked and wanted as many Mega Man games and merch as I could get my hands on. <laughs> the only problem was that as a new fan, I just missed out on the Mega Man hype train of the 2000s. Capcom stopped putting out games from the franchise, and the anime had been cancelled in the US, and all the figurines were gone from store shelves. It was a really hard time to be a fan of the Blue Bomber and it was honestly the first time I ever developed sort of a toxic relationship with a company. I remember crying so hard on Christmas Day at one point because all I wanted was something Mega Man related, but my parents just couldn't find anything no matter where they looked or how hard they tried. I'm totally not overcompensating for that now, I don't have a problem, YOU HAVE A PROBLEM! Now, I know Capcom has been making new classic style Mega Man games, but I prefer the other iterations more. The X games just felt like a natural evolution for the series, and I really wish they'd give some more attention to it. I also understand why Capcom hasn't made a new Battle Network or Star Force game, because story-wise they actually kinda concluded pretty nicely, but come on, the card battling mechanics were just so goddamn fun, fun, and they could easily be adapted into a new game, especially in an age where mobile games are so popular. It's kinda surprising that they haven't tried it, honestly. And of course, we're all still waiting on the gone but not forgotten Mega Man Legends 3. The Legends games are just overflowing with charm and style, and after playing it recently, I think Legends 2 might actually be my new favorite Mega Man game of all time. There's just so much to like about it, and out of all the 3D games in the series, I think this one has aged the best, and it's a PS1 game. I remember back in the day when Sonic Generations came out, and I was really hoping Capcom would do something like that, you know, but for Mega Man. Like, how cool would that be? But, yeah, Nietzsche was right after all. And there you have it, my bleak depiction of the future of video games, and the hopelessness I feel inside knowing that I will never be able to capture that sense of wonder I once had as a child. But it's not all doom and gloom. In recent years, we've seen a lot of heavily anticipated titles return. We finally got some games that fans have been waiting over a decade for, like Kingdom Hearts 3, Shenmue 3, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Doom, and Resident Evil games that are actually scary again. And while there are a lot of remasters and remakes out there that might feel more like a cheap cash grab than anything else, the fact that these game companies are cashing in on the nostalgia at least increases the chances of us seeing some of our beloved franchises return. Happy Holidays everybody, and thanks for watching! The response to my first video was a lot bigger than I was expecting it to be, and I really appreciate that, so thank you. I know there are a lot more games I didn't cover in this video, so let me know in the comments what games you would like to see come back, and if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and let me know what kinds of videos you'd like to see from this channel going forward. Have a good one.